Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to derive expression for moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell about an axis, about its diameter and bit b about a tangent. Okay, so let us consider a uniform spherical shell. Consider a thin uniform spherical shell. of mass capital M and radius R R the surface area of the spherical shell shell is 4 pi r square. So we can write right sigma is equal to mass per unit area or oh, that is equal to m by 4 pi r square. Okay, so like I told the first case about an axis about its diameter. Okay, so first we'll draw a spherical shell. Let me draw the diagram first, then I'll explain it later. So here we have drawn a diagram of a thin spherical shell and uh, we have divided into concentric circles or concentric rings so to say and let us consider a ring at a distance of x from the axis of rotation and uh, this is the radius r, this is the small thick element, thin elemental ring whose thickness is r d theta if this angle is theta this is small angle d theta and this is the radius of the ring which is equal to r cos theta okay so now let us consider the case about the diameter so let a b be the diameter so let a b be our diameter about which the moment of inertia of the uniform shell is to be calculated. Like I said, we can assume the spherical shell to be made up of a number of co 
axial rings of varying radius or radii okay so consider one such ring of radius r is equal to r cos theta whose thickness is is t is equal to r d theta where r is radius of spherical shell so now so area of the ring let da be the area of the ring the elemental ring or we say thin elemental ring so we can write da is equal to 2 pi r into r d theta or that is equal to 2 pi r cos theta into r d theta simplifying we can write da is equal to 2 pi r square cos theta d theta if this is the area so now we can write the mass to be so let us say the mass to be dm or dm will be equal to how much 2 pi r square cos theta d theta into sigma like i wrote already in here where sigma is equal to mass parent area or that is m by 4 pi square i can put the value of sigma in here so if x be the distance of the ring from the center of the hollow sphere then we can write x is equal to r sin theta differentiating x with respect to theta we can write dx by d theta is equal to r cos theta or we can write dx is equal to r cos theta into d theta so now the moment of inertia moment of inertia of this ring about the axis ab is let us say i is equal to dm into r square or that is equal to 2 pi r square cos theta d theta into sigma into r cos theta whole square that is equal to 2 pi sigma r to the power 4 cos cube theta d theta that is equal to 2 pi sigma r to the power 4 cos square theta cos theta into d theta
simplifying further we can write i is equal to 2 pi sigma r to the power 4 cos square theta into dx by r or that is equal to 2 pi sigma r cube into 1 minus x square by r square dx which will again come to finally 2 pi sigma r into r square minus x square into dx. So now, integrating this value from limit x from minus r to plus r, we can write i is equal to 2 pi sigma r into r square minus x square dx integration x varying from minus r to r okay so we can write this as two times integration 0 to r 2 pi sigma r into r square minus x square dx that will be equal to 4 pi sigma r into r square x minus x cube by 3 where from 0 to r or we can write 4 pi sigma r r cube minus r cube by minus 0 or oh, that will be equal to 4 pi sigma r into 3 r cube minus r cube that will be equal to 2 r cube by 3. Now we will put the value of sigma and we will get it as i is equal to 4 by in place of sigma I can write m by 4 pi r square into 2 r to the power 4 by 3 cancelling 4 pi 4 pi I get i is equal to m r square into 2 by 3 or we can write i is equal to 2 by 3 Okay. So now we will find out the moment of inertia of the thin spherical shell about the tangent. So moment of inertia about the tangent. Moment of inertia about the tangent. Okay. So for this we will apply the parallel axis theorem. So let I T be the moment of inertia of inertia of the spherical shell about the tangent. Tangent. Okay. So let us say we have the spherical shell like this. This is the diameter about which it was rotating AB and now we will draw a tangent say about the we want to find the moment of inertia about the tangent. Let us say the tangent is PQ. So then 
applying parallax theorem so then applying the parallax theorem theorem we can write i t is equal to i plus m r square where i is the moment of inertia of the spherical shell about the diameter let us say about this diameter we have it to be i distance from here to here is r so i can write this to be 2 by 3 m r square plus m r square simply fine we can write m r square into 2 by 3 plus 1 or m r square into 2 plus 3 divided by 3 or it will come to 5 by 3 m r square. So, this is the moment of inertia of the spherical shell about the tangent.